Are you adding a light bar or other form of light to your vehicle? Are you running a fridge or wiring in a solar panel? In this video, you'll learn what size or gauge wire you'll need to do it safely. And I promise to keep it really simple. Modifying a Toyota for adventure travel? Looking for tips on camping, off-roading, or overlanding? Maybe we can help. Whatever it is you're powering, you have to use the proper gauge wire for the amount of amps that will be passing through it. If you don't, this could easily happen to you. Aluminum wire could be used, it is less expensive than copper wire, but because of its higher resistance, a much thicker wire needs to be used. I recommend sticking with AWG stranded copper wire. Very simply put, amps are a measuring unit of electricity that's required to power something, either a fridge, light bar, air compressor, whatever. The size or gauge of wire determines how many amps can safely be passed through it. Now this is going to be a little confusing, but the higher the gauge number, the smaller the wire. And I have no explanation for that. This gauge wire can easily allow 5 amps to pass through it. Try to push 10 amps through the same wire and there will be a lot of resistance. Think of that resistance as friction. And what does friction cause? Heat. Lots and lots of red, hot, glowing heat. And that heat is going to catch this plastic coating and anything else around it on fire. Many, many vehicles have burnt to the ground by pushing too many amps through too small of a wire. First thing you'll need to do is find out how many amps are required to power whatever it is you're installing. Most products will list that in the product description or a data sheet. Sometimes it'll be listed as watts. You can convert watts to amps by simply dividing the watts by 12, as in 12 volts. Next, measure the length of wire that will be required from your power source to whatever you're powering. Then search for wire gauge chart. Hit images. Then scroll through until you find a chart like this. Find the amount of your amps and the distance of your wire. Put the two together and you've got the size wire you need. Now it doesn't hurt to go one size larger, just in case. Now that you have the correct size wire, what kind of switch are you going to use? These also have to handle the amount of amps that will be going through them. This can catch on fire too, and many of these are only rated for maybe two, three, five amps. You may need a relay. I explain all that in this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, and I hope you consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.